Hi, Case DeYoung with the Wilbur Ellis Company again out in our apple orchard. Today we're going to talk about the petal fall, the stage of growth that these apples are in. This red delicious here, you can see this in the background. You can hear sprayers in the background going. There's just that constant drone now. So this petal fall time of year in an apple orchard, there's a lot of things going on. And we'll cover the, the three main topics today are insects, diseases, and nutrition. So we'll get right at that here next. There's several insects we're trying to control during this petal fall timing. Uh, plum curculio is a big one, a big opportunity. This maybe this spray and uh, first cover the next spray in a week. Got uh, aphids. All the aphids are out there. Rosy apple aphid, green apple aphid, uh, tenorform leaf miner. Kind of an intermittent pest, not necessarily an economic, but it's certainly aesthetic and guys that bothers guys a lot. And then the hopper complexes. Well, this petal fall application is the one the insects we're not trying to control. Yet are the lepidopteran insects, the codling moth, and the oblique banded leaf rover. And we'll get to those the first cover um, timing. So that plum curculio, like I said, that's the big one. We're trying to get, get, make sure we get that one taken care of and keep those egg laying scars off the apple. Petal fall is a critical timing for foliar nutrition in this uh, apple tree as we're trying to develop this fruit, bulk it up with the uh, elements it's going to need to get it through the summertime and get us a quality fruit at harvest. So our product, More Leaf P and K, we run that a couple times at Petal Fall first cover. That helps develop cells, gets cell division, and the more cells we get, the larger potential we have of storing calcium. Um, you're going to only be able to get calcium in the fruit from about pink to approximately first, second cover. So we run the More Leaf P and K. We develop a lot of cells, and how, the analogy I like to use with apple growers is if you take a jar, let's say the jar is your apple. And if we make a lot of cells in that, if you fill that jar full of marbles, there's a whole bunch of cells, gives you a bunch of surface area in that cell wall, and that's where we store the calcium in the fruit. If you don't get a lot of cell division, you're still gonna get an apple, but let's compare that to like a ping pong ball or golf ball sized cells as compared to the marble sized cells. And you got more surface area, the smaller marble cells compared to the ping pong or the golf ball size, and that gives you the more opportunity or the bigger bank to store the calcium in. So we want to do everything we can to help this fruit develop more cells so that it expands. We've got more cell wall area to store the calcium. And then when this foliage starts growing, the foliage isn't stealing that much calcium or the calcium it does steal from the fruit. And we'll talk about that as we go through the summertime, but we're not hurting that fruit. We don't have to worry about storage diseases and rots and bitter pit and those types of things as we cover that later on. So. We'll run the Foley Grow 615 to get the calcium in here from now till second cover or so. We'll run the Morley P and K to help with cell division and we'll help produce a quality fruit. We get out here after we're done with thin and we'll talk about um, running some tests on the fruit to see make sure we have adequate nutrition to get us through that summer period into the pre-harvest. After this petal fall timing and just as we get ready to thin, everybody's asking, okay, what set, what didn't set? Red Delicious can sometimes be funny. So what we've got here, this king flower has set. I'm gonna call it set. You see it's starting to swell here a little bit. Get down in here, get this petal out of the way. And these other ones, you start to, the sepals start to close up a little bit, closing around this flower. And these other ones don't look like they're doing it. We'll, we'll find that out in a couple days. But when we start getting into thinning here, this is gonna be very critical in making our decisions of what we thin and, and how we go about doing that, what recommendations, what kind of combination we throw out there. Okay, so we just want to give you another shot here. Here's another apple, a little closed up a little more. You can start to see it swelling. The sepals are closed. You compare it to its buddies there. They're still open, probably didn't set real well. Got another one down here, a little bit turned up. We get this kind of angle where she's, the stem's starting to turn up, starting to swell a little bit, and uh, lets us indicate what the fruit set is. We'll give this a few more days. We'll come back out here and do some measurements, and then we'll decide what we need to thin. So let's wrap up our petal fall discussion here today. We've covered a lot, several different topics, well, basically three topics and little subdivisions of those. We talked about insect control, where we're trying to get plum curculio, make sure we've got that taken care of, tenorform leaf miner and aphids out there, but kind of secondary. We'll uh, come in next week here with our first cover spray and get the lepidopteran pest, the collie moth, and the bleak banded leaf roller. We also talked about the diseases, apple scab, powdery mildew, fire blight, when we need to do that. And very importantly to the, our discussion here and as we continue on to this series is the foliar nutrition to try to bulk up that apple 
so we get a lot of cell division and get that calcium into the fruit, give us a quality product come harvest time. Well, uh, in our next series, we're going to move into covering thinning. We'll probably do that toward the end of the week here, and uh, we'll see how long or how short we can keep that little segment for you. But in the meantime, I'm Case Young from Wilbur Ellis in an apple orchard outside of Sparta, Michigan.